chase Lee Hockey with the blue futons. From the thumbnail, I was terrified because I had it perfect and it started to slip. And I thought I was going to lose all of it, but I lost none of it. So let's just get started. We got Sing 2. The reason I bought this is pretty cheap at Best Buy. And I said, you know what? Might as well give it a shot. Next, we have the Burning City. Here's another one that was on sale at Best Buy. I think it's a three sequel or three trilogy, if I want to put it that way. I think the person, yeah, with the Wave and Wake made this. So that is their little anthology, if I want to put it that way. Then we have Giant Old School 1950s Western in 4K. That is 198 minutes long. All right, like I said, you already seen these. We have some steel books of Doctor Strange. Then we have the steel book of Bob's Burgers. What's the one this one for? This is for the Swine's Gate. I lost one of these. You don't get to see the code. And then we have another steel book for Angel's Heart. And then we have now Kino Lober. We have I'm Dangerous Tonight, directed by Toby Hopper. Hooper, if I put it that way, whoever did Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Salem's Lot, Poltergeist. Y4, Spontaneous Combustion. Apparently, this is a TV movie from 1990. All right, then we have another TV movie called Ants. Not rated. Uh, what else do you need to know? 1977 Ants. 4K, Jim Carrey, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. 2004, 4K quality, Kino Lober. Let's go for it. Another 4K release, Stanley Kubrick's The Killing, 1956 black and white, 84 minutes. Let's get some HDR mastering on you. Yes. We got another straight to DVD one, Tarantulas, 1977, straight to TV movie, 4K master, Spiders. James Earl Jones, The UFO Incident? Oh yeah, not rated, 1975. Are aliens real? Let's find out. We have X, which is going to be a sequel to a movie called Pearl that comes out in a couple months. Personally, I thought it was an okay movie. It was on the buy to get one free for Amazon. So I decided to give it another shot. We have another 4K Blue Underground. God told me to. Warning, this film contains scenes of violence and intense horror. We will see what kind of intense horror it is given in this 4K movie. Sounds bad, doesn't it? We have Paramount bringing out some of these. The Hunted. I do wish uh, Paramount would... They do some 4K releases. I understand why I bring it to Blu-ray first before 4K. But I want some full 4K for show. If you know what I mean. Do we have a... Italian movie. This is an Italian cover with only 2,000 made. 4K release as well, Dolby Audio. Rated R and unrated. Let's see. We got the Walmart special edition of Everything Everywhere All at Once. So I was not going to buy this movie, honestly, because I know for a fact there's going to be Criterion. There's going to be a steel book. There's going to be something with more special features for this movie. Just watch out. It's going to come. You've seen this one already too. True Romance in 4K. We got A Boy and His Dog. An R-rated rather kinky tale of survival. Don Johnson. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. But 1975. We got Survive. The most shocking episode in the history of human survival. Looks like cannibalism. 1960. 1976 True Story Andy's Mountains. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive. You know what I mean? We got Michael Bay, The Ambulance in 4K. Heck yes, I bet you that looks damn sexy in 4K. We have 4K The Craft. I thought this was PG 13 for the longest time. It's actually rated R. You've seen this one already too? Edge of Tomorrow. We got Beverly Hills Cop 2 4K. Unfortunately, no special features whatsoever for this release. All right. The Mitchells versus the Machine. I bought this on Target. It was super cheap that week. And you know what? Why not? 
You gotta support some physical releases, if you know what I mean. Two more. Swallow. Apparently this is a very, very disturbing movie about her just swallowing random shit. So it's gotta be a little bit wild. Last but not least, watch out for the man watching the roller coaster. Take the ride in sensor round. PG. Let's see what it's about. Anyway, that's it for this month. As you can see, a lot of them is a lot of older releases that are on Kino Lober, those 4K ones they try to, you know, amp up. The newer releases are kind of timing down a little bit, but you know what? That's what I have for the month of July. Chase Yuck with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of Blue Topia. You Blue Tonians, thank you for watching. Have a great day. And let's just see. We're already halfway through the year. Unfreaking believable.